Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have 50 unexpected bolos coming your way. Items to be on the lookout for, items that you can find at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, Facebook Marketplace. If you go out and look, you will find these items. Now, some of these are a little harder to find. If you guys are in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, you know that I post links of auctions that are active, that are getting lots of bids. So this video is to show you what those items actually ended up selling for. Um, this is one of my most popular videos, uh, most viewed. People love seeing the big money bolos. So we are just going to dig right in. I'm going to move through them very quickly. I have 50 pulled up. I actually had them pulled up and I closed the entire um, browser for that. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I have to go and pull all those tabs up again. And I was able to find it in my search history. There's like a little thing. And I was so excited that I didn't have to um, re-pull up all those tabs because looking and finding and pulling up those tabs takes a long time. But it speeds up the video. So I like to have them ready to go for you guys. So we are going to get started. I am going to try a different format. Um, so I'm going to be down here instead. And let me know what you guys think about that. Okay, before we start, um, I would like to show you guys, this is my main channel, and you guys, I've got tons of category videos. That's where I pick a category and I focus on just those items. Um, you're going to see an item in this video that is a lock. I have a whole video dedicated to locks and keys that are bolo items. I have Disney bolo items. I have plush um, Christmas, Halloween, items you find in the kitchen, items you find in the bathroom. So definitely check out those category videos. And then over here on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel, this is my other channel. You guys, if you're not subscribed, definitely check it out. It is linked down below. But one video that I put over here recently that is really good, that's not getting a lot of action because I put it on my smaller channel, is this garage sale with me video. And I take you to the garage sales, but as I go through and pick things up, I pop up screen shares of everything I listed. And I also show you if the item sold before the video was posted. And also on this channel, um, I have featured members on my main Bolo Buddies channel. And um, I do a bonus video sometimes. And I put the bonus video over on this channel. Now, I know you guys love these videos because they get fantastic views on my main channel, but they don't get as many views over here. And I think that's because you guys do not know about them. So come on over to my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies um, YouTube channel, subscribe, hit that bell, and look for the featured members videos. And I do have a playlist. So um, check those out if you missed them because they are amazing. All right. And the Bolo Buddies. Facebook group. If you guys are not in it, please click down below on the link and join. And oftentimes, if people in the group have a bolo that they want to share that is auction style with a lot of bids, they can message me and I will share it in this group. Okay. All right. So we are going to get started with the first bolo item. The first bolo is this pom pom. Here we go. Aluminum tree. I'm not good at saying that word. I know it. So I have to really take my time and I still don't think I said it completely right. But these trees are a bolo item. If you can find them, definitely pick them up. I do know a guy that parts them out. If he gets a tree that's not complete, he will sell the actual palm. I guess they're called pom poms individually. And people will buy them as replacement palms. And that is a great thing to do because you can make a lot of money doing it that way. It does take longer to sell, but definitely um, definitely an idea. This tree sold for $545 plus shipping. The next item that sold, um, I believe a member of the group sent me this one, if I remember correctly. And it is a Daisy Kingdom um, pinafore dress. Lilacs and roses. There's the tag. It's even got some writing on it. I do have a Bolo category video on toddler dresses to be on the lookout for. So definitely check that out. It is on this channel. 
This dress ended up selling for $590 with 38 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage antique tin wind up tool, uh, toy. And it says Lone Ranger with a lasso. And I know somebody said, shouldn't he have a gun? I'm like, I don't know. It's not my listing. I didn't make the toy. But anyway, I don't know. Do you guys know? Do cowboys? I think cowboys have lassos, right? Don't they lasso cows or something? <laughs> anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, this guy's over $285. If you see 10 wind-up toys, definitely pick those up. Um, if you can get them for the right price, they range from bread and butter to big money. Always do your research though, you guys. The next item is this vintage Suntour BMX pedals. These are new old stock pedals, you guys. How amazing is this? Sold for $605 and the buyer paid shipping. And you can see right here, it looks like there's some $19.60 maybe originally. How cool is that? The next item is this vintage Patagonia um, jacket. And these deep pile uh, jackets, they've been trending for quite a while. I actually was not sure if they were still trending until I saw this post. And I was like, I'm going to watch that. And it sold for $353. So these are vintage, retired. Definitely be on the lookout for that deep pile, um, kind of like a fleece material. $353 buyer paid shipping on that one. The next item is this laser light Skeletor figure. So Masters of the Universe, M-O-T-U, that's what that stands for. Some of these can go for crazy money and some of them are bread and butter. It depends on the year. It depends on the toy. It depends on the condition, but definitely look them up usually on the foot or on the body somewhere. It will give you um, the information that you need to help you look the item up and you can also use Google Lens. This particular item sold for $910 uh, plus shipping. The next item is this Tiger Sharks Bronk action figure. I've never heard of him. I thought he was pretty cool looking, so I wanted to share. Um, a member of my Facebook group in the comments mentioned that typically the guns or the weapons are missing, and this guy has those, so that helped bring up the value. However, this person did not put the weapon in the first photo. I recommend putting the weapon in the first photo because sometimes that weapon can be worth more than the actual action figure itself. So um, this probably should have been the first photo. So that is just an opinion of mine, uh, a little tip that I've learned along the way. But this guy sold for $610 plus shipping. The next item that sold are these vintage Boy Scout patches. Now, you have the choice to list these individually or list them as a lot. This seller chose to list them as a lot. I don't know too much about Boy Scout patches individually. I would have to look each of them up. This sold for $548.99 and the buyer paid shipping. And I'm not sure if they left money on the table or not. If anybody knows, please let us know down in the comments. The next item is this Michael Harvey vase craft brown paper bag. This is ceramic art, you guys. And I actually showcased one of these in a, um, it's a Goodwill eBay store. And the one in the Goodwill eBay store actually went for more than this. You guys can check that video out. I just released it recently, but you know what? I think I have another 50 unexpected bolos coming before this one. So it, you may have to look back a little bit, but it's on my main channel. This one sold for $59 plus shipping. And this is a member of my Facebook group that shared this. The next item is this Kurt Adler Christmas ornament. This is an Indian chief. Um, Kurt Adler can definitely be a bolo, but a lot of times it is bread and butter. It kind of just depends on what the ornament is and if it's collectible, if there's um, limited edition, stuff like that but definitely look up Kurt Adler. This sold for $128.50 plus shipping. The next item is amazing. Um, this is, well, there we go. A unique vintage Christmas tree topper with angels. So not even a super fancy um, title there, but this just goes to show that if people are collectors, they will look for items. This sold for $449 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this satin vintage starter jacket. You guys, if you see these old starter jackets, definitely give them a look up. 
Some of them can go for big money, but the satin material is definitely something to look for. Uh, this one looks like it still has the original tag, which is pretty cool. This sold for $234.49 and the buyer paid shipping. And I think this was a member of the Facebook group also. The next item was definitely a member of the Facebook group and he has his own Facebook group. So definitely go check him out at resellers research something. If you type in resellers research, it will pull up his group. Um, I have also featured this guy many, many times on this channel. He goes by HodgePodge. And if you just search my YouTube channel for HodgePodge, you will see featured seller videos. This guy is a bolo finder. I learned so much from him. And I have probably five to eight, maybe 10 videos just on featured what sold videos. So check those out. This item sold for $220 plus shipping. And it turns out that this little guy right here in the back, it is a collie and it is a rare. He had no idea. He just listed this as a lot and it's some rare variant. So some of these can go for two, three, four hundred dollars on their own if you can find the right ones. I'm not really sure of the exact value of this one. I know he had lots of people messaging him, but the whole lot went for two hundred and twenty dollars. And I'm guessing somebody got a pretty good deal on that. The next item that sold is this Empire Blow Mold Santa on a railroad train. Blow molds can be big money, you guys. Look them up. The thing I hate about blow molds is they are a pain to ship. So I oftentimes will, um, I'll pass them by and I know I shouldn't. Um, I actually have a pumpkin I need to list. Uh, this guy sold for $660 plus shipping. But back to my pumpkin, I need to find a box big enough to put it in. It's pretty cool though. The next item is this Pez dispenser. I also have a Bolo category on Pez dispensers if you want to learn more about those. This one sold for $610 plus shipping. Now, there are certain things that you need to look for when you're looking up Pez. Um, no feet is a good, a good thing, but it doesn't necessarily guarantee that it's going to be a big money Bolo. I do have some tips in that video if you want to check it out. Um, but definitely look up Pez no feet dispensers. They range from bread and butter to big money. And again, this one sold for $610.27 plus shipping. This was definitely a member of my Facebook group that sent me this. This is a vintage Fun World Division screen mask. This one is heavily stained and still went for big money. Um, if you can find a Gen 1, those are the ones that go for the most. I'm not sure if this is a Gen 1 or not. But this one says Fun World Division on the chin. Those typically go for more. Um, Eastern Limited, you know, 100 to 150, sometimes more. But the Fun World Division are the ones that go for a lot. But if you can find a vintage screen mask in either brand, they are definitely worth picking up. This one sold for $385 plus shipping, even in this condition right here. The next item that sold is this vintage uh, tree topper. So it's by Bradford. These are really, really cool. They are pretty consistently going for big money. Um, so if you find one, definitely look it up. This one sold for $500 plus shipping. The next item is this antique vintage leather brass spiked dog collar, you guys. How cool is this? Can you imagine? Would you have thought that this would be worth so much money? This sold for $512, even with this little condition issue. Uh, and the buyer paid shipping, so pretty cool. The next item, I feel like I see these all the time. This vintage ceramic ghost holding a pumpkin. Maybe it was just listed at the right time. I have no idea, but this went for $93 plus shipping. So um, I'm not saying that everybody's going to get that. Maybe it's the pumpkin's face. Um, maybe it's the expression on the ghost that brought this one up in value. I don't know, but definitely look them up. The next item that sold is this vintage EG's Booze Old Cabin Whiskey Decanter. Um, I would have probably walked right past this, you guys. And this sold for $750 plus shipping. So, wow. Okay, so this one I shared in the group, and I think it sold for like $400. And when I went to pull it up, the item was relisted, unfortunately. So a non-paying buyer. But I wanted to share that this with you guys because these old um, sealed detergents and stuff like that, they can be used for movie props. People will buy them. 
Um, unfortunately, the buyer didn't pay, but this is relisted at $100 plus shipping. So we'll just kind of see what happens. The next item that sold is this rare vintage antique 4th of July celluloid Uncle Sam Weeble Wobble figure. You guys, check it out. Would you have ever guessed that something like this would sell for $410.69 plus shipping? Uh, let's go in to the bid history here. And it looks like there were five unique bidders and the winning bidder had 1,010 feedback. So I'm going to guess that probably got paid for. The next item is this vintage 80s zigzag rainbow dolman sleeve sweater. This sold for $102.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Vintage clothing can definitely be a bolo. All right, a member of the group sent me this one. She had these knee-hugging pixie elves. I just thought their clothes were so cute and they are in fantastic condition. These sold for $162.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item also came from a member of the group who is also a Bolo Buddies member. It is Mindful Recycle on YouTube. She is fantastic and she sells, I mean, she finds amazing stuff. She goes to estate sales all the time. So when you check out her videos, you're seeing stuff that sold for big money. Now she will pay up, but usually her return is like huge. So definitely check out Mindful Recycle on uh, YouTube and check out her store. It's really fantastic. But she got this Beetlejuice life-size animated figure and it sold for $202.50 plus shipping. The next item is this uh, Avalanche Baseball Mascot Plush. So that reminds me of me trying to say humongous. You guys, I did a video over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddy's YouTube channel. Go check it up. Check it out. It says literally cracking up. Go check it out and you'll see why it was so funny. Um, but anyway, this is a baseball nut mascot plush. And this guy sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Um, I pulled this one up. I thought maybe it was going to get some more bids, but either way, $50 for a plush. I would take that all day long. The next item is this vintage Barbie ponytail doll made in Japan. You guys, these ponytail dolls, makeup looks good. Probably could have had some better lighting on this, on the photos, I feel. Um, there's the butt. Now, a lot of times the date on the bottom of the... Um, Barbie can be a patent date. So um, make sure that you don't have a repo and make sure that it is a legit vintage item. You can usually tell. This one sold for $655 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage Pyrex dish with the little um, cradle and lid. This sold for $1,525 plus shipping. If you guys want to know more about Pyrex, I have multiple videos on Pyrex on this channel and my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. So definitely just type in Pyrex. Vintage cast iron Roman warrior padlock and key. Amazing. This sold for $380 plus shipping. As I mentioned earlier, I do have a Bolo category on locks and keys. The Rushton Company, you guys, these rubber-faced Rushtons are amazing. Definitely a Bolo item. This one sold for $1,525 plus shipping. They will have a tag on them. So you will be able to identify if it is a rushed in or not, unless somebody cut the tag off. The next item that sold is this sissy doll nautical skirt set from 1959. It looks like it's in the original box. This is for a Madame Alexander doll. I don't know, you guys. I had no idea that one could go for $1,810. Um, I don't know. It's, uh, it's amazing. Let's look at... Um, I wanted to go in to, that's not where I wanted to go. Hang on. Let's go into their feedback. And I just want to see, this is a way to check to see if something actually sold, but the person has to actually leave feedback for you to see it. But I typed in MA for Madam Alexander. And you can see, I mean, there's some pretty high prices here, 250, 374. Um, 899 and these actually got paid for and feedback was left. So um, look at these prices. Wow. $2,000. Wow. 
1,009. Is that the one? That might be it. But look at this, you guys. So it looks like some of the old Madam Alexander items can definitely be big money. The next item that sold is this vintage MSA uh, mining helmet. This sold for $232.50 plus shipping. All right, I just had an idea. Let's look at view items for sale. So it looks like this person specializes in Madam Alexander. So um, I'm just going to show you a few things. These are under the solds. So look at these clothes, you guys. Sometimes I do this when I'm researching. I go off and I just kind of search things based on what I see. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, researching for these videos, especially the category videos, can take some time to try to find things that actually, you know, that you guys don't know about and that I don't know about. And it really helps me to learn. So I'm going to show you just a few things here that I didn't know about. So maybe you didn't either. All right. So those were all solds. All right, we looked at the helmet. The next item is this vintage Diet Pepsi trucker hat sold for $650 plus shipping. You guys, vintage trucker hats, I got a video on that. Also, if you can find the one with the three stripes, that will increase the value of the item. If you want to know more tips about hats, you can go check out my snapback video. All right, you guys, these are Barbie and the Rockers uh, from 1985 and 86. There's 17 dolls here, you guys. This sold for $510. Now, could the buy or could the seller have parted this out and made more? I don't know. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? The next item are these MGA Bratz dolls. These are the older ones from 2001, 2004. They are retired. Um, I typically will part them out, but sometimes I'll list them in a lot. It seems like whenever I lot items up like this, I have people requesting one doll. So, um, yeah, especially on Mercari. Everybody always wants to part things out on Mercari. This sold for $376 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Todd Warner 2000 Strawberry Delight Elephant Sculpture. It's 37 of 150. I will tell you guys that there is no way on earth that I would want to ship this item. That just looks terrifying. Let me know in the comments if you would be terrified to ship this but it did sell for $2,550. I don't know how they're going to ship it for that cheap, but I guess I don't know how tall it is. Maybe it's not as tall as it looks. Let's see if they tell us. 27 inches. Yeah, it's pretty big, guys. Ah, that's so scary. All right, the next item is this Sun Rubber Company Sunny Bear. These are definitely a bolo. It looks like somebody's got a video down in... Um, the description, you guys, if you don't know how to do that, you can check out my channel. I have a video that ex teaches you how to do that. That is great. They're probably showing that the squeaker works. This sold for $485 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this Jansport backpack. Some of these old vintage Jansport items can definitely be a bolo. Look them up, even if they don't have the carrier, like the metal part on them. Some of the regular backpacks can do really well also. This one sold for $225 plus shipping. The next item is this signed Crown Trafari vintage brooch. And it says sterling. So I'm guessing it's sterling and then maybe plated because it looks gold to me in color. Um, Crown Trafari. Let me see. It's right over here. Let's see if I can get you a close up of there, what that looks like. Oh, it says sterling there. And then it's got the patent and the number. And then you see the little crown on the top of the T. That's how you know it's Crown Trafari. This sold for $1,330 with free shipping. The next item are these vintage wrestling buddies. There are four of them here. And this sold for $365 plus shipping. You can also sell these individually for a decent profit, depending on which character it is. The next item was mine. And I had an offer right out the gate for $65. I did not accept it in time. It started getting bids. So this ended up selling for $45. Apparently a couple of the books that I have are ultra rare and I probably would have made more parting them out and doing my research. But sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I should have been more careful on this. Uh, reseller Treasure, my Reseller Treasure helped me out with this after the fact. 
Um, she has a fantastic YouTube channel. She um, focuses a lot on vintage toys and Barbies, but definitely go check Brandy out, My Reseller Treasure. The next item that sold is this antique vintage 1920s Halloween die cat decoration. I said die cat, not die cat. It's kind of a die cut. Um, it is plastic, however. I saw black cat and put die cut with it. Woo, it's even during the day. Um, so anyway, this sold for $534 plus shipping. I can't blame it on being sleepy. The next item that sold is this vintage Barbie suit dress from 1960s, sold for $404. I have actually sold this outfit before. I picked it up at a garage sale um, in a big bag of Barbie clothes. And when I looked up what these were going for, oh my goodness. I parted mine out and sold each piece separately. I sold the hat and the, uh, the top and the skirt separately. So that's also an option. Um, completely up to you guys. They could have listed these separately, but either way, this sold for $404 plus shipping. The next item is this box of 10 photo albums. It's like amazing, you guys. I'm guessing somebody bought this, either a collector or a reseller, and they are going to part these items out. You guys, some of these can be huge money. Um, this is a huge lot. A thousand dollars. I'm guessing this is probably going to a reseller and they are going to make a lot of money on this. Um, so 59 bids sold for $1,026 plus shipping. You guys, there's some resellers out there. They don't want to mess with the smalls. They just want to lot it up and move it quickly. So there are deals that you can make on eBay. 20 Maxwell cassette tapes. These are blank cassette tapes. And this is a lot of 20 that sold for $112.50 plus shipping. The next item is this Kiss Mask um, Halloween uh, costume mask from 1978. You guys, I also have a Bolo category video on Kiss Band items. Kiss Band items are definitely a Bolo. Check out that video. But if you ever see Kiss Band items when you are out, especially if they are vintage, look them up. This guy sold for $591 plus shipping. Okay, a member of the group shared this one, and I'm actually surprised it did not go for more. Cat vintage trucker hat. Um, I think I messaged them about this one, and they were missing some key words. I think this, if I remember correctly, I think I messaged them, and the brand was pretty good. I can't see. Maybe this wasn't it. I can't read what it says. Nope. Maybe this wasn't Tonkin. That's not one I've heard of. But always put the title um, or the brand in the title. And mesh back would have been probably a good keyword. I mean, really, people that are looking for these hats are looking. They're searching eBay. So maybe this is just more of a not as desirable model. But it's still sold for $46. So that's still great. Um, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these vintage Big E toddler jeans, you guys. So even the Big E toddlers can go for big bucks. How cool is that? You can see they're showing lots of photos of like the inside. Those are ways that you can tell that the item is actually vintage. Um, I've heard that they're bringing back the Big E. These sold for $316 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage action figure lot. These are just accessories, you guys. And like I said, some of the accessories can go for big money. Um, they sold this as a lot. A lot of times it's really hard to look up which character they go to. So I will sometimes just throw them in a lot as well. This sold for $177.50 plus shipping. Now somebody who sells toys and is really familiar with Masters of the Universe might pick this up and um, sell those items individually. The next item that sold is this action figure lot. It is also Masters of the Universe. This was a member of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group that shared this. I'm actually surprised it didn't go for more. It only went for $93, unfortunately. Um, but again, I don't know a whole lot about the 80s characters and what makes which ones valuable. A reseller may have purchased this. I don't know. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. 
And if you made it to the end of the video, please put a fruit, some type of fruit emoji down in the comment section. So I don't know what emojis there are for fruit, but there's got to be something, right? All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out some of those category bolo videos. Be sure to join my Facebook group. And as always, thanks for watching.